Check out this amazing spawn that I got. It was literally right in front of a tree. Are you freaking kidding? Are you actually kidding? That's a beautiful tree though. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is, yet again, killing two birds with one stone. And I'm really starting to feel sorry for these uh, birds, because we're just killing them in every single episode. Hashtag save the birds, guys. Looks like the enemy has already killed one of their own guys. How do they do that? Because you can't, like, you know, shoot at your allies. I think the only way that you can do it is to shoot the ground and the explosive uh, shell or fragments go up into the belly of a tank, maybe. That's the only thing I can really think of. So uh, today we're going to be killing two birds with one stone by going out with a tank that I haven't really used. It's a, pretty much a new tank to me. And it's going to be both an educational experience for myself, but also possibly for you guys. Look at that, he's killing... I think it's the same guy who's killing like his whole entire team. What the hell, he is going to get kicked out with one more team kill. He's going to kick it, get kicked out of the match, that's going to be funny. But... Uh, so we're going to be taking out the M4A2 76W and also the M4A1 variant as well. Main differences between the two is the fact that one is much more boxier, the one that I'm using right now, the M4A2. Much more boxy looking than the M4A1. And also apparently it's faster as well. But uh, apart from that, overall the tanks are kind of mediocre. Meh, to say the least. Because they come out of a battle rating of 5.0, so you can see stuff like IS-2s, you know, the 6.0s. Now, uh, in terms of its armor, it's really not that great. All it takes is one shot into the hull at the front, and you can kill a lot in this tank. And that's all it really does take. So we're actually going to back off here because I'm overextending. That's an... That's a... Hold on, that's an I AI. So we're going to go for the main real guy first. Oh my gosh, please don't see me. I'm not here, I swear. Wait. Wait. Don't panic. Focusing. I don't think he can see me, can he? What is he doing? Now I would like to kill the AI. Oh my gosh, he's, he's moving. We have a mover. And we missed. So it all takes is one shot into the hull and you can kill this tank uh, or do substantial damage to it it really is quite weak when it comes to his armor capabilities and its gun is okay but kind of lackluster IMO uh, a lot of times you get stuff like that I mean that's into the track that's fine but even has time sometimes uh, trouble penetrating IS or uh, KV-1s you know and you'd expect it not to have trouble because you're just at this tier battle rating of tank where you should have uh, easy times taking on enemies like KV-1s so we took out a few enemies there we even got the dude the KV-2 as well a little bit of damage to the cannon barrel nothing substantial he shouldn't be able to actually see us or hit us because Russians are really notorious when it comes to the depression on their guns they really just cannot go downwards at all. So we're going to try to kill these AI. Adds up to the bombers. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Probably not going to get the T-34. Not going to get the Sherman either. Sucks. I know. I think we're fine after that shot. We're going to aim. Oh my gosh. We're not fine after that shot. we got to back off. I've got an asparagus cannon right now. Hopefully that KV-1 is not going to have time. Actually, I've seen, I think I've seen two guys dead inside his turret. We're now shooting at him. So we're going to back off and get this cannonball repaired. But look at that asparagus looking thing right now. Ugh. Disgusting. But we didn't suffer any casualties. If you're going to try to play this tank, you can play it in various different roles. Honestly, you can play in any, any role. Uh, whether that's in the urban scenarios, long range sniping, anything. But if you can, try to go down and hold down positions. Because the turret has the most armor on this vehicle. I'm gonna shoot at that KV-2. Wow, that was lucky. Nice dispersion on that shot. Went directly into his ammo rack. I couldn't have asked for anything better. So we're gonna move up here. 
And we're gonna try to push for A because we're really losing points now. And I feel like we're on a losing team. So we gotta try to make a difference by capping A. Playing frontally, the brawling style. We're gonna actually grab a bomber first, because if we can uh, lessen up what is actually on top of A, then we can capture A a lot easier. So grabbing that bomber, one enemy fighter. We're gonna turn in this direction just in case if anyone's gonna be in front. Two fighters, we got two defenders. Are they gonna actually protect me is another story. There's a Spitfire. That guy's going in. This guy has no idea what he's doing. Never mind, he's turning in. Thank God. He's got people that... Never mind. He doesn't know what he's doing. He should be defending, but he's not defending. Okay, so instead we're gonna try to... Bomb these guys here whilst we're getting shot at like mad by... A crazed maniac behind me, and instead I got sniped by a ZSU. I think I got two bombs off, luckily. So it wasn't even the... It wasn't even the uh, plane that shot me down, it was the ZSU. So I think we got two ground kills there. I think we did. So we can move on up. That's an IS-1, that is very scary. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even have the... Uh, armor penetration capabilities to even kill that thing. We're just gonna aim into the middle. Well, that wasn't quite exactly where I wanted to hit him. Maybe I still have time. Ah, it was close. We lost one guy. We lost one guy. That T-34 hit me. So we're just gonna capture A. Delay the inevitable of this game. I, th I foresee us probably losing this, but... I'm delaying the inevitable. Target undamaged. I understand that that is a very slippery slope on a T-3485. However... The penetration... Is bad. You're dead. <laughs> I have no idea what he was doing. Valiant charge. Valiant man. So I can't even go for that T-34 if I even want to. Because I'm just gonna get shrecked. Oh my god. Back off. No! 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 Did we kill his- Oh, thank god we killed his aimer. And that's why, kids, I always tell you to go for the aimer. In a tank. Holy shit. So we just saved ourselves, and now we just gotta aim. Right there. Finish him off. Oh. Honestly. I, I don't think there's anything more scary than a KV-2 that's charging you full head on, you know? Uh, this is- I want to really go for this T-3485, but I'm gonna get killed by another T-34. Off on the side, so we're not gonna do that. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bomber. We're just gonna hide behind the sloped nature of this hill so we don't, we don't die or get shot. And I don't know how we have A. It looked like that T-34 was also in the cap zone. So hopefully we'll be alright. I don't think the enemy- I'm not sure if the enemy can see if you're actually using a bomber. Like that plane icon that comes up next to your name. I certainly hope not. So we're going to try to clear up A. And I see a lot of red on my team. As in people are dead or left or whatever. Oh. Hopefully he's not coming for me. We're going to drop bomb there. Bomb there. What else are we going to drop? One there. And maybe one there. We need to jump out quite quickly here. I would love to stay longer and try to shoot down or kill some guys. Oh. And kill some guys of my cannon, but unfortunately, got things to do, guys. Got things to do. And I'm down to three guys. One who is probably bleeding out. In fact, he's actually orange colored. I don't know what that would even indicate. If he was red, then I'd be like, okay, he's bleeding out, but I don't even know what that would indicate. Reloading a process. No, let's stop reloading. But otherwise, I think we're generally okay. Still with two guys. That's not too bad. And now we got that KV-1 approaching. How many guys did we clear off? I think we only one of the bombs, really? I was hoping for more than that. So we've got an M6A1 just up ahead. Gonna aim just in the middle. Oh my gosh, what kind of dispersion is that? Oh god. <gasps> we gotta move up. I'm, this is do or die. This is do or die. Using the hill terrain to my advantage. Holy balls. Close, man. Very close. So many times we're almost dying here. 
Or it looks like going into enemy fire. In fact, that Panzer 4H can see me. But I can't see him. How frustrating is this? Uh, let's see if we can do something. Aim on the right hand side. Damn it! No! You're not supposed to be able to do this to me. Ah! Oh, cannon breach! Why? Stop! Fuck yes. That's what I needed. We needed to kill his uh, aimer. And we got it. But I don't see us living much longer. Luckily, M4A2s have problems with penetration. They don't do a lot at all. Uh, so hopefully if we face our cannon this way, we'll be fine. Now he's exposing his side armor, so we're gonna take a shot. Ooh. Just didn't do enough. Not enough fragmentation, unfortunately. We're dead. We are dead. But it's fine, we still have one more tank that I wanted to show you guys. And that is the M4A1 variant. So we're gonna grab that. Take that out. And what you'll see is this looks a lot more akin to a Sherman. See how it's kind of got the smoothed edges? Whereas the other one had more bo boxy looking kind of thing. Another thing that I really like about the these variants of the Sherman is that they don't have ammo racks in the side. At the front side. Uh, like the M4A1, the M4. Those are really big problems. Having the side ammo racks. Because a lot of times you end up just getting destroyed. You get ammo racked because people will get a, a shot into your side armor and there you go you're dead and the thing is it doesn't even have to be into the side armor it can even be through the front if they've got enough penetration they can just penetrate right through the front on the side and blow you up anyway so we're making a valiant stand here with what team we have left there's actually quite a few of us still but a number of us are actually out of the match as well we're making a valiant stand uh, we captured the point now my team is actually pushing forward. I think that's sometimes what the team needs, you know? If they can't grab the point themselves, sometimes they just need somebody to do it. And then that gives them the inclination or the uh, motivation to start doing something. Let's go for this Panzer. Oh, wow. That was a Robin Hood shot. That was right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, right in the bullseye. Right in the kisser. So that disabled him. Oh my god, no! The artillery! <laughs> Why? Let's how do Are you serious? <laughs> that little shrapnel blew me up? Wow! I was way to say we were going into like a dangerous position by uh going into artillery head first like that, but holy shit! The little shrapnel little fragment that came, I don't even know what, what, if that was from the shell, that might have been a rock. Might have uplifted a rock that went flying into my the end of my fuel canister and made the whole thing blow up. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, that is the match over. Uh, going out with grace, I suppose, in a blaze of glory, literally. So, there's some action for of the M4A2, and the, a little bit of the M4A1 for you guys. Overall, mediocre tank, nothing too special. Honestly, nothing too special at all. Uh, and that's it. Alright guys, what do you want me to use in the next video? Until then, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.